Hey everyone, it's Maddie of The Girly Geek and today I thought I'd sit down and film a quick little November plan with me to show you how I decorate my planner and get myself ready for the new month ahead. I know I've been promising to do a full length how I use my planner video about my little bullet journal hybrid system but um, due to my hiatus and everything I haven't really had a chance so I thought for now I'd just give you guys a little bit of something and film this quick little time lapse. As you can probably see by my past spreads I really like to stick to a floral theme just because I think it's really cheerful, um, easy to do and really nice to look at. I'm using a pencil just to do some simple outlines and plan where everything's going to go really quickly. I always stick with really simple um, kind of modern florals with line illustrations um, just because I find that they're really aesthetically appealing and again simple to do. If you happen to watch my botanical doodles video you'll recognize some of these flowers for sure. I tend to repeat some of the shapes quite a bit and mix them up here and there but they do me well so I'm not complaining. So as you can see now I'm just going over the florals and adding a bit more detail with a plain Muji gel ink pen. Um, I find that these are just easiest to use because they're pretty thin and precise and I like the way they make the details of the flower look. Of course, while I am going over the pencil with the pen, sometimes I end up changing things up a bit um, just because I didn't think something worked or I think something will look better a different way. Nothing's really concrete, I just kind of go with the flow. Sometimes um, I'm not too happy with it, like this spread isn't exactly my best, but I got it to work in the end. I sometimes struggle with ideas of what to put in between the kind of huger flowers and the more detailed flowers, but I find that my favourite things to do to fill up that negative space are branches of smaller leaves, kind of like wreaths, um, also some smaller flowers like roses or pansies, and then other little nuts or loose leaves or even stars that you'll see towards the end. So when I'm doodling in my planner, I like to make it my little really happy, calm relaxation time. So I will usually have a nice hot cup of tea next to me, even if it is kind of warm here in Australia right now, and also some really nice music playing in the background. I've been really obsessed with the new Bleachers album since it came out. I'm also really still obsessed with Dear Evan Hansen, um, so those are a must. And then I will usually have some essential oils diffusing or a candle burning in the background just to keep me really calm and stress free. Especially when I have to write in all the assignments I have due this semester. Before I get started writing in some of the important dates for the month, I just rule some really quick lines. Then I get out my colourful little Muji pens and start putting in some of the dates for the month ahead. So I have a little colour coding system which I will show you on the screen right now. So I usually put a little dot of colour to whichever one the task or event corresponds to in my planner and then use black ink just to write in the details. Since we are at the end of the semester, it's mostly just assignments and due dates at this point and some final classes. The next thing I will do is write out my goals for the month and important dates in this little sidebar of the calendar. So this is what it looked like for the last month of October and I'm just going to replicate that again in November. <laughs> so in this part of the footage I got sidetracked by the fact that I forgot to put these little sticky dots on my dates. So these are just some little stickers that I got off Etsy that I like to put over the numbers in the calendar just to make things a little bit more colourful and I think this adds really quite a lot to the spread makes it look completely different. It can be really tricky to place the stickers down because they are so tiny, so I like to use the edge of my ruler at times just to make things a little bit easier. And now that that is done, I am going in and filling up my goals for the month. And then I go ahead and do the same with important dates. 
So as the days progress throughout the month, I obviously add more tasks and little deadlines and reminders, but this is what the finished spread looks like for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me any comments with what I should do in the future. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!